I greet you in the name of Jesus Christ and we are excited as we engage this month of July. And we are talking about inherit royal influence. One of the things I've said and repeated many times is this thing that we are royalty. And as royalty, God has given us influence. The Bible says in Matthew 5, 16, Let your light shine before men, that they may see your good works, and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. In the book of Matthew, chapter 5, it's a very interesting chapter because Jesus starts talking to the disciples on how they need to live their lives. Uh, and also, in fact, how they can influence the environment where they live. We are not on this earth by accident. We are here by purpose. We are here to be royal influencers wherever we go. The Bible says in 1 Peter 2.9, For you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people belonging to God. And so there are three things that I want to talk about concerning inherit royal influence. Number one, you are blessed. Number two, you are the salt. And number three, you are the light. These are the three things that will enable us to be influencers wherever we go in this life. Number one, you are blessed. It is important for you to realize that if you're going to influence anyone or anything, you must know who you are, whose you are, and why you are. Jesus said, you are blessed. In chapter 5, verse 9, he says, Blessed are the peacemakers. It is so important for us to know that. He says, blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. You see, we are blessed. Abraham was blessed in his time, and he influenced the nations. He was a father of nations. And if this week as you walk, remember who you are. You are blessed. And in that chapter, Jesus kept saying, blessed are, blessed are, blessed are, blessed are the peacemakers. Blessed are those who mourn. Blessed are those who are persecuted. Remember this. You are blessed. That's why you are royalty. And you know when you are blessed, you carry God's favor wherever you go. But secondly, Jesus said, you are the salt of the earth. You are salt. Chapter 5, verse 13. Matthew, he says, you are the salt of the earth. He says, make sure that your salt is not trampled upon, that it has flavor. You see, salt flavors everything it touches. We are in this planet to flavor our world, to flavor the things that happen around us. You are salt. Influence through your flavor as you live your life and people see Christ in you. And that is very important. As you live your life, remember this, somebody is depending on your character depending on your behavior, depending on how you do things. You are the salt. He did not say you will be like the salt. He says you are the salt. And so, two things. You are blessed. And number two, you are salt. And number three, you are the light of the world. You are light. Chapter 5, verse 14, Matthew, he says, you're the light of of the, of the world. So light is not put under a bed, under a bushel. You have to be lifted to be seen by everyone. And so this week, remember who you are. If you're going to influence in the affairs of this world, remember who you are. Three things that I've said. You are blessed. Number two, you are salt. And number three, you are light. So, influence the world. You are royalty. And may the Lord bless you as you serve him this week. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.